Hello, my name is Groffman. I want to tell you about the picture of finding obliterating scars on my life. Here in the ocean spreading around as my lungs breathe air, opening up my eyes until I see open up my eyes until I see black figures swimming cautiously around my kind. My senses become active, then I smell fertilizers moving forward. Moving forward with people, black dressed people, which will my senses become active uh, um, with the smell of fertilizers, the sh which were like malodorous, putrid, noxious, like hydrogen peroxide, burning, burning their soul in terror. As my eyes, in that very moment, zoom in into cries, into clouds of blood that appear, and in that infinite internal moment of cries and squawks of my people. Lost hope and broke, my heart long beats, fell hours and constantly went on repeatedly. I was a coward, I didn't stay, didn't defend my friends from these organisms tapering far behind an arbitrary stone, hidden by an incongruous object that was an Oboro Arbor Arch, ancient archaeology, Arcanium, Arctic stone, while hesitating nervously, breathing deeply into my heart, I glimpsed to the black figure, although I couldn't exactly see half of his face, because he was glancing straight diagonally, and that, and there was a shimmering light on top of his forehead. My eyes urged forward to see him as he killed a million of sharks. My mouth opened wide. I stood still in one position, hearing the couple last breaths of my shark's siblings have died. My blurry vision stared into the several organisms dressed in black suits, spreading around green liquid within my perception. It seemed to appear like poison. I knew they were the greatest legend in history's great source for protecting me. I would honestly thank them so much. The men wearing black, the main person turned his face and I quickly turned my face behind a rock. I thought, I, and I thought, did he see me? Well, kind of did. He just saw a silver paint and 3D object, so that attracted him. He swam over slowly and was almost near the rock. However, he suddenly got a call and he went up. As the black clothed men, wearing black masks, black goggles, black flippers, and everything else dark black as well. All of them noticed me like a silver picture and a blue tiny dot inside a silver, silver picture. They chased after me rapidly onto the same path, so I swam far to the distant land. Gruffin, come, Gruffin! yelled Martha. Martha was always a very strict mum on Gruffin, and unfortunately he lost his dad when he was three years old.